long day at work. She had a long day at work. She said she wanna bum 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 Coming up next, man, we're going to get into this lady, what she feels about or what, what women should do when reporting their child support. If you don't believe me, here's her own personal opinion. I think that women that are on child support or women that receive child support payments that do not work or have any form of employment should have to report to their caseworker once per month to show proof that the receipts and that the payments that they are receiving for child support are being used on their child. Yeah, we're getting to why she feels that way. And we got the ladies from the Journey to Stardom show from Addicted, I'm sorry, from Accelerated Radio, Kevin Nash's station in the building. We got all that and much more. Strictly Independent as always, the radio show. doing selfies what you do snapchat you guys been over there snapchat just now oh no we doing insta oh, go instagram. to work insta instagram right there 
We okay. insta slamming. Oh, insta slamming right there, big time. Yeah. Okay. It's How so cute good, is man. that? That's a camera watching me right here. That's a camera watching you right there. That is yeah. way too cute. I want to take a picture of the camera watching me. I needed that. Yeah, that's that's the picture of a camera looking at you right there. Hey, the game the game is so tight. We have two of them looking at you. Oh. You see the one looking at you on this side, and one looking at you. You know what? That's all trying to figure out. This camera had me. Oh, that, got, that's your got, camera that had it on there. one camera that's right go there. So, yeah, man, we got a lot going on. Look, yeah, go to man, work. If you, if you just joined us now, we have in the building, kicking it with us, we got the ladies from Journey to Stardom, the yes. show which is on Friday nights from 6 to 8 p.m. on Accelerated Radio. They're in the building with us. Ladies, what's going on with you? Hey, hey. hey go to work. Go to work. Go Check it out. Hey. Thank yeah. y'all for coming down to the show this past yeah. Friday night, too. That was fun. The radio oh, yeah. show was in the house at yeah. a celebrated radio. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes. Go to work. Yeah. So, so tell us about the show. Tell us about real quick the whole deal with it. What, now, how did it start? What's up with it now? Absolutely. Well, I have a show also on Sundays from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. This is your girl, Nichelle Farrell, All the right. go to work lady. Right. Absolutely. And I wanted to provide a platform for other artists that had other music that wasn't as clean for t- Sunday show from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So I opened up a Friday uh-huh. and shout out to Kevin Nash for the wonderful opportunity as well. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I provide a, a platform for artists, whether they're authors or musicians. Mm-hmm. A lot, they have live bands. They um, do comedy. They're actors. What have you. And that's what goes down on Friday nights. And we make it turn up oh, every Friday night. Experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go to Ooh, work. You yeah. definitely feel like you've had right. an experience. Absolutely. You Get your night there. started off yeah, right. Yeah. You can yeah. still go out and everything. Yeah. You understand me? At the uh-huh. perfect time so, slot. Yeah, because when we came, you guys had like six artists there that night, right? Yes, yes. It was yes. quite a few. Look, yes. I don't even count no more. Yeah, Look. Quite a few, yeah. <laughs> I like, what is it? Because I'm like, it seems like it's always more than six. I just know the room was crowded. That's all I know. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah, because we have people in the lobby. Right. We had a uh, ghetto flame was yeah. up rock in there. Box, absolutely. Rock box was beat right. boxing. Mr. Mike, absolutely yeah. go to work. Shout out okay. to all you guys that we had. Angelo, yeah. Keisha, Kelly, right here, hey. the best PA. Yeah. The yeah. nigga <laughs> Wood. Go to work. Say that in the so. microphone. Go to work. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. No doubt. Now the yes. whole go go to work thing. Now that's that's like the catchphrase that you guys are rolling with right now. So tell me about the whole go to work thing. I've Where'd been rolling from? with that for What's years because what, technically it what it is is self mo. It started off, I guess, with self motivation. Then I'm also an educator, so at the schools, instead of saying something else that may not be appropriate, uh-huh. is one of those things where I just say go to work instead of saying wrap your fingers around that pencil and get the writing or stay on task. That type of thing it helps. Mm-hmm. We're cleaning that up. Right. Say, go to work. If you're yeah. not doing what you're supposed to do, go to work with that. Right. You know, they didn't yeah. clean up uh-huh. anything. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. Kevin Hart, exactly. and so, how Kevin Hart say pineapples. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Instead of saying pineapples, uh-huh. go to or work. Apple, go to juice. Work, huh? apple juice. Apple juice. You know what I uh-huh. mean? Or, you know, kick back on that. You know, it's go to work. So oh. it can be taken different ways. Yeah. So got you got to watch my tone and the you. inflection <laughs> on it. Nah, but, but, you, <laughs> but you told me another meaning of that. I think one of y'all told me another meaning of that. Oh, we have a whole lot of means. You better trust that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there was another meaning. It depends, what was it? it? Yeah. On I don't the know. Tone. I don't remember. I mean, you told oh, me my Friday. My chair keep going down. Yeah, <laughs> that's like all you right. You told me Friday, but it's, it's, it's all good. Go to work. It's, it depends yeah. on the tone it, that, that it's used. Uh-huh. You know, it, different context. You know, if she Many looking at me, she's right. telling me to go to work in a whole nother context. And she might be telling <laughs> uh-huh. somebody else to go to work. If she tell you to go to work, it's like, go ahead on with yourself. You uh-huh. know? Absolutely. Right. Right. And then when I'm thoroughly uh-huh. excited, you can uh-huh. tell the difference, too. Because yeah. I'm like, go to work! You understand? Hallelujah! Yes. So, you know, it could go, woo! That, that's a confirmation yeah. of a good okay. time. One of them things. Sure One of them things. That's what's up, man. We got the ladies from Accelerator Radio, Journey to Stardom Show. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Friday. Every and Friday. I said the Sunday show is when? 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. on Accelerated Radio. Kevin okay. Nash is Accelerated Accel- Radio. You can find Absolutely. us on AcceleratedRadio.net. Right. Tune Absolutely. in. Okay. And you can I hear tune. the previous show with the 
the radio. Yes. All you have to do is go into the archives at acceleratedradio.net. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're also okay. on iHeartRadio. So I know we yeah. are on somebody's yeah, app. Somebody go to work. Knows smartphone. Yes, yeah. we got iTunes, TuneIn, yes, yes. yes, iHeart, Accelerated right. Radio. You can Absolutely. follow us on Instagram uh-huh. at the Spreaker. After 5 com. Experience. Right. AF. T E R the number five the letter X P E R I E N C E that's our Instagram for the After Five Experience okay. and we also have an Instagram for the Journey to Stardom show our mm-hmm. Sunday show and it's just simply Journey to Stardom. Okay, Absolutely, that's, that's yes, yes, follow us on now, Facebook, Nichelle Farrow yeah. and Keisha uh, Kelly. Now, Absolutely, now, now, shout now out we Angelo. We, we got all the Facebooks and Instagram. I'm gonna give y'all time to get that out there one more time at the end. <laughs> but uh, what I will what do now is about? that we we got our little story of the day we put out there, and as we were playing earlier, it was, it was a, a lady that's talking about using an EBT card to pay to get her hair and nails done. Okay, now I don't know why she did it, but. She, Did she go to jail? Well, what it is that this lady? <laughs> let me explain. This lady here, she went to the the beauty shop, uh-huh. right? And while she was there, she noticed someone else there, and they didn't have the money to pay for it. But she was end up paying for it to, to get her hair and nails done with her EBT card. I'm so out of the up. kindness of her heart, she used her EBT card to get caught up and go to jail behind. No, no, she didn't go to jail. Hey, look, but, I'm still trying to put her in jail. But, it was a trip. Yeah, don't put her in jail, but it's a trip. I didn't know you could use your EBT card to pay to get your hair and nails done. And she got the money so, from child support. Yeah, now here, here's, here's what this lady's interpretation of the story is because she was there, and she happened to see someone else do it. Let me play this for you. I'm going to let you check it out. Today I was at the nail shop. The nail shop I was at, two young women walked in and they had the kids. Cold as I don't know what I saw, okay? The man asked them what they want. Pedicure. Okay, he tells them we don't accept debit card payments. We only accept cash. Now, they pulls out the blue card that you receive your child support payment on. She says, "Hand me the card. Hand me the card that your child support payment. Hand me the card that the child support came on, so I can go to the bank." And I looked over. I say, in my mind. I noticed that and I just say, hand me the card that the child support check came off so I can go and get the amount off to pay for our nail. So she went, she noticed that down there. So I didn't know you can take money off the uh, EPT card. Okay, let me, let me, let me, hold on. I still think she now, give, me, to give, me, give me some all, clarification. No, we got to get some clarity first. Yeah, go ahead. There's a difference clarity. between an EBT card right. and a card that you get for child, child support. support. Okay. So there's a difference. Now, an EBT card is a card that's provided by the County of Los Angeles mm-hmm. that you get your food stamps and your cash on. Okay. The card that you get from child support is mm-hmm. given like a kind of like a prepaid credit card. Okay. Okay. Now, I feel in a sense of the woman on the phone mm-hmm. because you don't know people's situations. You probably should mind your business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you probably should pay more Go attention to, work. to <laughs> how you get your hair and nails done because mm-hmm. you know you got people out here that's sleeping around to get their hair and nails done, and they think that that's okay. Mm-hmm. But you want to downplay someone who is keeping maintenance. Wow. Mm. There's a difference. Okay. And and you hit home right. with this because there was an issue. I had that issue a long time ago. My son's father, he was in the military. Mm-hmm. Right. Child support every month. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not sending child support no more because you keep your hair, your nails done. Keep your child support uh-huh. and watch me still keep my nails and my hair done. Uh-huh. But the thing uh-huh. about it is, if you love your children, you should want the best for their parents. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Parents be well taken care of. 
care of. Yeah, fly them. I go. It, it shows the kids like that. The kids, <laughs> when they grow up, it, it, it guides them that they need to take care of themselves. You know. Uh-huh. So right. a mom, I feel, should always be on point. I mean, if she ain't on point, her kid ain't on point. That's right. for sure. That's the truth. Right. So yeah, you're right. You know what? She doesn't need to mind her own business because ain't nobody know anybody's situation. Right. So mm-hmm. now, okay. see, I wouldn't know nothing about this if I came <laughs> in here. First of all, right. Now, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work it one yeah, yeah, my yeah, take yeah, on yeah. that what is that the baby's yeah. money should be the baby's money. Well, that, that that was my interpretation of it, that the baby's money should be the baby's money, and the baby's money should be used to get the hair and nails. But how do we know that, that the baby's not it. being taken care of? Well, we don't know that. But, but that's what I'm exactly. saying. It's we a don't certain, know that. Because